Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Malazri, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Malazri, you and I have known each other for a long time. It is great to see you again here at STS. Good to see you again, Adam. Yeah, so there's a lot of new research and data coming out here. We're also getting questions from patients all over the world. This comes at us from Lilly, all about connective tissue disorder and bicuspid aortic valves. Lily asks, I have a connective tissue disorder. Are people with bicuspid aortic valves susceptible to additional aneurysms throughout their body? Patients with bicuspid aortic valve are susceptible to having aneurysms in the other parts of the body, not only the aorta, but also the branches off of the aorta. In addition, bicuspid aortic valve patients and connective tissue disorders, we must look at diagnostically where these aneurysms coexist because there's treatments for those. For bicuspid aortic valve, the aneurysm usually exists in the ascending aorta as the aorta comes out of the heart. We can fix the aortic valve and also replace that aneurysm part of the aorta. Dr. Malazri, to fix yeah. an aneurysm in the aorta, how do you and your team do that? Correct, so the aneurysm is not repaired. The aneurysm is actually resected. We completely take out that diseased part of the aorta and in its place, we put a Dacron graft, which is pre-manufactured. It's a plastic tube. Well, Lily, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. Malazri, as always. Thanks to you and your team at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago for everything you're doing to help patients with heart valve disease, connective tissue disorders, and aneurysm. Thanks so much for being with me today. Yeah, thanks very much, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.